Hi, I'd like to show you how to get started with your first Perl script. We're going to run through the instructions on this page. First, find out what version of Perl you have, creating a folder to keep your Perl test scripts in, and then using an editor to create your first Perl script, running it, editing it, and running it again. So we're going to find out what version of Perl we have. We go to the Start menu and open the command line. So we then type Perl space minus V, and this will show us what version of Perl we have installed. So here we have Perl 5, version 12, subversion 3. Any version of Perl 5 over 10 will be sufficient. Next, we're going to go and create a directory to store our Perl scripts in. So here I'm going to the C drive. I go File, New Folder. And I'm going to call that Perl underscore tests. So we can then see that that folder has been created. OK, I can close that now. Next, we're going to need a text editor. So we've installed Padre here, so I'm going to launch that. We then go back to the web page and copy the following section of code. So I'm going to show you by doing right click, copy. Obviously, you could use the keyboard shortcuts. We can now close this window, go back to our text editor and paste that in. So we now need to save this file. So I'm going to click on the Save button here. And I want to save that into the Perl test directory we created earlier. So I'm going to the C drive, finding that folder. And I'm going to name the script hello underscore world dot PL, PL being the Perl extension. And we'll save that. So now I need to open the command line again. And I'm going to have to type the full path because I'm not in the testing directory. So I'll type Perl and then the C drive, the Perl tests folder, and then our hello world.pl script. When I hit return, that now runs the script. So here you can see that it says hi name. So we've run our first Perl script. Now we want to be able to edit it. So I'm going back to the editor and I'm going to change name to Perl Learners. We then want to save that script again. And I'll go back to the command line. Actually, I can just hit the up arrow at this point rather than having to type the whole thing out again. Hit return and again you will now see that it says Hi Perl Learner. So congratulations, you've written and edited your first Perl script. Thank you.